Abide in Jesus, and ye shall receive power. This is your daily devotional reading. Inspired by the Spirit, August 22nd, Welfare Ministry. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Matthew 9 verses 35 and 36 The Lord continually performed deeds of loving ministry, and this every minister of the gospel should do. He has appointed us to be his ambassadors to carry forward his work in the world. To every true self-sacrificing worker is given the commission, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16 verse 15 Read carefully the instruction given in the New Testament. The work that the great teacher did in connection with his disciples is the example we ought to follow in our medical missionary work. But have we followed this example? The glad tidings of salvation ought to be proclaimed in every village, town, and city. But where are the missionaries? In the name of God I ask, where are the laborers together with God? It is only by an unselfish interest in those in need of help that we can give a practical demonstration of the truth of the gospel. If a brother or a sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. James 2 verses 15 to 17 And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13 much more than mere sermonizing is included in preaching the gospel. The ignorant ought to be enlightened, the discouraged ought to be uplifted, the sick ought to be healed. The human voice is to act in its part in God's work. Words of tenderness, sympathy, and love are to witness to the truth. Earnest, heartfelt prayers are to bring the angels near. The evangelization of the world is the work that God has given to those who go forth in His name. They are to be collaborators with Christ, revealing to those ready to perish His tender, pitying love. Inspired by the Spirit, August 22nd.